Okay, after that, uh, that series, that part, let's flee the storm. So this is a Super Mario Bros. 1 level. I have, as you've seen, I've made quite a few new ones. I'll get to, I'll get to the other new ones later on, probably after I finish, um, a new Super Mario, I mean, uh, the... Breath of the Wild. I'll finish that. I almost got crushed. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is this is based on being around in a in a hurricane of sorts or just a really big windy storm. Got a 50 coin if you can wait. If you don't mind waiting, there we go. Oh dear. The booze chasing and I can't jump through here. The boo's gaining speed. Okay. Everything's just flying into me. Which is why you gotta be careful. Ooh, cheap cheap. Flying cheap cheap. Another blooper. Also, this is a 100, um... 100 second level, so I kinda have to hurry up, sort of. Please do not hurt me, Goomba. Ah, with the with the with the fast conveyor belts and the wind, you cannot run and gain traction. You know, you, you can't you can't run faster. You can't you can't get any farther running with the wind and the fast conveyor belts. But. Um, yeah, when I played this, uh, it's never been too fast. Like, like I mean, too much. It, it, like, the 100 seconds has always been enough. Which is good, because it still keeps that intensity. You know, you gotta, you gotta get through. Okay. Now for some Super Mario Bros. 1 levels. This one is actually pretty tough. So here we go. Gotta do some big jumps here. I guess I might as well um, have some vlogging time. So, um, oops. <laughs> Ooh, 50 coin. This is actually one of the first levels that was um, uploaded. Interestingly enough. Oh boy, that's a lot of falling icicles. So the past couple days have been pretty uh, odd. You know, I figured, hey, you know, I, I might as well actually do some errands. Um, so I went ahead and um, brought some shirts to a dry cleaner that my mom recommended. I probably should have run through those, but... Actually, yeah, I, I really should. Here we go! Okay. And the checkpoint, too. So my mom recommends a uh, dry cleaner, you know, a place to, to iron my clothes, which is good, because I have some shirts to iron. Uh, then it turns out that even though she suggested them as, you know, better than other ones, you know, cheaper and such, same that the place is actually kind of expensive. Kind of a surprise there. Another fifty coin. You know me. I got. I gotta get hit by that thing. All right, go down. Ah, oh. that's the problem with icicles. So anyway, that was more expensive than I expected. And then another thing that was more expensive than I expected is a, um, a pair of sunglasses. The only sunglass store that I could really think of was by my optometrist, you know, the eye doctor. And wouldn't you know it, they're actually expensive. This is a slippery place. It's very dangerous. Oh my god. Okay, don't get hit by that one. There we go. 
Uh, that's better. Thank you for the boot. I cannot believe I get hit all the time by things. I wonder what's in there. What's in here? A th wow, that is that is a trap. A trap. With another 50 coin at least, but dang, that is a bit much. Yeah, that power block didn't really help. And that pipe is not really something I can get to. I, I, I don't, I don't, I do not understand this level. It is so hard. Like, so dangerous. Nice thing is that, uh, these icicles defeat the, uh, the, the beep, the bony guys. You know, the, uh, dry bones. Gotta jump across those two. So, so one thing, like the, so the dry cleaner was expensive, the sunglasses were expensive, I forgot to bring up the IDs, so let me bring them up right now. A little hard to see, but okay. And this. Okay, Bowser's Inside Story. Starts off as an underwater level. Kind of a plain one. But that's because it houses a huge Bowser. Oh my. Of course, I had to include this. I mean, I had, I, I actually had a level with this kind of thing. Although, I think that mine was more precise. But, you know... This is, this is good enough. In we go. Um, and it's an auto-scroller. And a castle. With a fire flower. My oh my. So, the dry cleaner was expensive. The sunglasses were expensive. And then there was something that was expensive in another way. So I go to a... Um, one of those kind of somewhat higher end um, fast food restaurants, you know, place called Shake Shack. You know, the burgers are more expensive, but they're like grass fed, organic, or whatever. But the thing is, is that um, they had like a, a some kind of charity drive, and it's like, okay, pay, pay give us two dollars to give to charity. And we'll give you a free shake. And I'm like, oh boy, that's great. And then I look at the voucher they give me, and it says, okay, well, you gotta, you gotta buy it online. And then I go ahead to buy it online with the code on the voucher, and it turns out I have to actually, you know, make an account. So now I'm on their mailing list. I, I gave them my, my email address and all that. <sighs> So that, that's expensive in its own way, you know. Now they can just, you know, say, Hey, we have a thing you can buy. Give us your money. And I'll be like, Oh my, I don't want to get this anymore. It's too much. Alright. So, it's funny, like, you know, I, I, I decide to do errands for the first time in like a month. And, uh, they're a little more complicated than I expected. Down you go, Bowser. A nice, classic defeating of a big, <laughs> big Bowser. That was... I think I just came out of its butt. Anyway, errands. I... Uh... Wait, did I come out of its butt, or... Well, it's hard to see, because you can only see that one side of it, you know, the face. Anyway, let's get to another level and not think of that anymore. Blackout Basement. It's another spotlight level, another dark level. And it's another auto-scroller level. Oh, no! But, nice thing about this one... 
is that uh, there are, you know, those sound effects that add a lot of light. <laughs> so you're going to hear a lot of that, that angelic sound, you know, the glory sound effect. Ouch. Nice thing is that there's a, uh, a mushroom there. A mushroom stem to indicate. Yeah, we got a uh, we got a platform here. It's actually quite nicely designed. So that's a uh, nighttime ghost house for you. I don't think I showed them off. Come to think of it, it's pretty cool. The ghost house and the underwater levels. All have this uh, nighttime theme with the spotlight, and if you turn it, if you turn on, um, I think if you hit an on-off button or a block, or yeah, an on-off switch, that was not well timed. If you do that, then uh, the spotlight gets smaller. So you have to be extra careful. Like I really have to be because this is getting kind of dangerous. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't have a uh, mushroom, so I can't hit those. Oh well, it's, it's fine. Oh, we have more of the level indeed. There we go. I'll try to get this one. I never... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was not too hard. Uh-oh. We have a skull. Oh, dear. Ah, it's a boss. A boom-boom that we can't see too well. So, <laughs> when it jumps like that, we need to watch out. That was not watching out. That was making a mistake. There we go. Boom Boom is a fast one, but uh, all you gotta do is just jump on his head. And there we have it. That's the end of the level. <laughs> we even have these uh, fireworks adding a whole lot of light. Alright, now we have Crimson Dream. This is actually a pretty dangerous level, pretty tough one. And the whole level has this music. So that's why I didn't show it off earlier. It's uh, just kind of odd to have that, you know? Ooh, bleeping, bleeping. That's a lot of bleeping. Here in this level. Everything is red. Except for me, because I am Luigi. <laughs> there we go, stomp on those. Big mushroom really helps out. Knock those Koopas right off. Right off the face of the space earth. Earth or space. Uh, can I... Oh. <laughs> Those really broke. Oh dear. Oh, that's getting hit for you. Oh yeah, and all these floating coins give a sparkle effect. Ah, uh, I thought I jumped on that one. Ah, uh, I thought I got past that one. I can't believe I didn't get. I did get hit there. <laughs> Checkpoint though. Checkpoints are good. Although those cannons, those bullet bill blasters were not there to help out. They follow a path, and if you're too far ahead, that's that's it. There, you're not. You're not with them. Oh dear. Don't get hit by that. Oh, watch out. 
It's quite a few spines. Uh, targeted Bob Bomb, please don't hurt me. Nice. Oh uh, boy. <laughs> this is a dreamy level, but it still is a difficult level. Pretty much. It is strange with all these things. Oh, everything's different now. The crimson is gone. And I can go through here. <laughs> I guess I skipped a little part. Kind of hard to tell. Well, that's that. Is this a difficult level? Eh, not really. 30%. I guess with all those big mushrooms. Uh, is this one difficult, though? Eh, kind of. This one, not eh, pretty easy. This one, I, I, I'm sure this has got to be difficult, right? Well, less than 20%. Yeah, but as you can see, I think, uh, where does it show? Oh, yeah, in the corner. 6 27 2019. That was one of the first. And this is kind of one of the first. 6 28. So that's going to be it for these videos of um, Mario Maker 2 for now. I guess I'll make a couple more for, I think, th yeah, these two levels once I get some stages for them. But uh, before I go, let me just uh, drop these in the right places. Let me just see here. Yeah, I got a desert level right here. Somehow I... Oh yeah, I have Chang Chonk Temple there. Somehow, for some reason. Chang Chonk I like a little more. So, there it goes for the desert ones. And then we have an underwater level. I put them for stage three, of course. Grasslands, desert, ocean, jungle, ice world, mountain, which I replace with ghost house, uh, sky, fire world, and of course the fire world's castles have bosses, I guess. Then I put another jungle, because I like these kinds of levels. Uh, this one is partly jungle. Um, this one I have for underground, but I don't have th that many of those, oddly enough. Uh, this one is mostly airships, basically airships. Just stick this over here. And now I gotta take this, Mario 1 Ice. Ice levels here, and then a underwater Mario 1. Well, I guess I'll... Maybe I'll just leave it here. Then Mario 1 Ghost House. There we have those. A couple of those are actually dark ones, oddly enough. Although I think I will replace... Uh, this with this. And then Skyview Fort is sky, but I already have... Oh, wait, no, it's jungle. Right, right, jungle. Uh, so I'll put that in the second row of jungle levels. Maybe I'll put the... I'll put this one over here. Have these as dark jungles, I guess. I suppose, maybe put this one over here. There we go. That's pretty cool. I think, uh, I think that's it. All right. Um, next videos, more Breath of the Wild. Getting up to those, uh, those shrines. Getting up to that uh, second row. Finishing off that. And I guess when I finish off that second row of heart containers, I will then return to this, and then I'll finish off that game. So, stay tuned. Goodbye.